Okay, let's do some math for fun. And here I have this power equation for you guys. We have x to the power of ln4 plus x to the power of ln10, and that's equal to x to the power of ln25. And I know you guys know. You guys should also know I know too. Answer is just x equal to zero, right? Because zero to the ln fourth power is zero. Likewise, we get zero here. Zero plus zero, we get zero. Done. Of course not. Otherwise, why did I leave all this space, right? The main question is, can we find the other solution? And I'll tell you, we will have another real solution. So go ahead and pause the video, try it first before you watch the solution. Done? Okay. It's okay if you work with the power expression like this. Move this to the other side and then factor out x to the ln fourth power. That's okay. But the expressions are not going to look so nice. It would be better if you switch the x and then the 4. What I mean by that is the following property when we have uh, the log power. So notice, if today we have some number a for the base, and of course it has to be legitimate, it cannot be 0, it cannot be negative number, we don't want to work with complex numbers here. Let's say we have a raised to a log power. This log can be with any base, and then the input that say it's also legitimate, that's called a c. In fact, you get to switch the a and c. Why? Have a look. First, let's purposely write the a as b to the log base b of a power. Why? Because this and that, they do cancel, we will end up with the a back, right? Okay, so this is for a, and then take that raised to the log base b of c power. Now we have this power and then to that power. Just multiply the powers, we will get b raised to the log base b of a times log base b of c. And of course the word of multiplication doesn't matter. In fact, we can do the following next. Take the b first, raised to the log base b of c, and then raised to that power, which is log base b of a. When we do this, you see that this and that cancel. For the base, it will just be c, and then the power is just log base b of a. So we can really switch x and then the 4. ln is just log base e, so this right here certainly applies. But we do have to be careful though. Of course, if you put x to the ln, x cannot be 0, so let me just indicate that when x is not equal to 0, we can do the following. I have already taken care of x is equal to 0 as a solution for the original equation right here, okay? So I'm just going to say we have 4 to the ln x power, and then let's go ahead and add 10 to the ln x power, and that's equal to 25 to the ln x power. It would be nicer. So how do we continue? First, let's divide everybody by 4 to the ln x power. Here, here, and also here. First term is just 1 plus they have lnx power, so we can put that inside, and then we'll just have 10 over 4, reduce the fraction, we get 5 over 2, and then put the lnx on the outside, like that. And then right here, do the same thing, yeah? So we have this raised to the lnx power. Cannot reduce though, but 25 is the same as 5 squared. Likewise, 4 is something squared as well. We can write this 25 over 4 as 5 over 2 squared. Can we do that? Certainly, right? Now, have a look. This part, we can write that down, and I can put a square on the outside. So this right here becomes the following. I'm going to write that down right here first. We will have 5 over 2, yeah? And I'm going to raise that to the ln x power first, okay? And then I will put a square on the outside, like this. So this part becomes that. 
it's just again I switch the two and also the L and X, right? Because it's like the diapoverty here. You just multiply the powers, so just switch that. That's okay. And then next, I'm going to bring this to this side, so it will be a minus, and then we have five over two, and you see that's to the L and X power as well. And then let's also bring the one to this side, and that will be minus one, and that's equal to zero. So now what do we have? Yes, we have a quadratic equation, but in terms of 5 over 2 raised to the L and X power. It's really bizarre, but you know, it works. Let's solve this by using the quadratic formula. So this right here, right, the 5 over 2 raised to the L and X power will be equal to negative B. B is negative 1, so let me put it down right here, and then plus or minus square root of negative 1 squared minus 4. A is 1, C is negative 1. And then all over 2 times 1, right? The A value right there. So that's, that's it, right? So now we see we have this, which is 5 over 2 for the base, raised to the ln x power, and that is equal to positive 1 plus or minus square root. This is 1, and then this is plus 4. So 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 inside here, over 2. Now we have to be careful. This is technically like an exponential function. The result of this thing cannot be negative if we just stick with real numbers. So I'm going to get rid of the negative right here because square root of 5 is bigger than 1. 1 minus square root of 5 would be negative. So we are just going to get this is equal to that. Yes, 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 is the golden ratio, which is really cool, right? So now, if you would like, you can put that to be phi, right? the golden ratio. Perhaps let's just use that. So how do we solve this equation though? 5 over 2 raised to the ln x power equals the golden ratio. Yes, we take log. But let's match the base right here, which is 5 over 2. So let's go ahead and do log base 5 over 2 here. So that this and that cancel. And then we get the log. Okay? So this is technically a log as well. Right? Natural log of x. And that's equal to log base 5 over 2 of the golden ratio phi. Now, finally, to get x by itself, we do e to the power, because this is log base e, and then e to the power. This and that cancel. Ladies and gentlemen, not only x is equal to 0, but x could also be equal to e raised to the log base 5 over 2 of the golden ratio which is 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. So let's just put that down as V. And of course, if you use a calculator, then you will get this right here, being approximately equal to 1.691. And that is another real solution for that equation. Very cool, huh? So I know you guys like math, because otherwise you wouldn't watch the video until the end, right? And if you would like to learn more about math, especially problem solving, equation solving, then I would highly recommend you guys to check out Talia's sponsor, Brilliant.Work. Brilliant has been a long time sponsor for this channel, and I really believe in what they have to offer. They have over thousands of lessons in algebra, geometry, calculus, and a lot more. All of their courses are interactive with beautiful animations to help you visualize and short courses to test your understanding. Their trick and pre-calculus classes, in particular, are built around visual and physical intuition, which makes it easy for students to understand tricky concepts like the sine cosine functions. And the best part is, each lesson is fun because they will have storytelling and animations that bring material to life. I started to like math when I was in high school, and I really wish that I could have brilliant back then. But now you have the chance to get started with Brilliant for 30 days free. And if you use the link in the description, Brilliant.org slash BlackPenRedPen, you can get a 20% discount. I want to thank Brilliant for sponsoring this video, and I also want to thank you guys for checking them out.